So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to say go out of edit mode and then hit control and then clear my canvas and let's just go in here and just grab a sphere. Drag that out on my canvas, go into edit mode, make a poly mesh 3D and we'll talk a little bit about the basics of fiber mesh. You can go through here, uh, mask out the top, you can go in here to fiber mesh, you can turn that on by hitting preview, go into the modifiers here. You can play around with like the length profiles, uh, you can uncolor the base and tip so we can see this a little bit better. You can play around with like the max fibers and if you want a little more information uh, on fiber mesh, you can go to my YouTube channel. Just type in fiber mesh and we got all sorts of fiber mesh fun uh, throughout the years. But that's the basics of fiber mesh. You know, you can crank this down, you can change the coverage, you can do all sorts of really cool stuff uh, with fiber mesh. Uh, alternatively, you can also go in here to light box fibers. You can go in here and grab something cool. These look pretty cool to me, so I'm going to double click these. And here's the, these fibers, we can go ahead and uh, we can crank up these max fibers. Hit OK. Again, we can change that length profile change that coverage here. So let's go ahead and bump that coverage up so we get a nice thick uh, result. And also let's change that length profile so we get a longer uh, result. If you want to change like how much of this fiber is actually on here, again, it's only simulating where the mask is. I can go through here, if we unmask everything and then just mask again and then turn on a preview, now it's just going to put those fibers up here. So hey, we can crank that max fibers down quite a bit. There we go. So we got some fibers kind of coming out of the top of here. So let's go through here and we're going to say accept. So now it's not associated with this anymore. Now it's its own thing. Uh, and this is just geometry. So if you want to, with this one selected, you can go over here. You, let's go ahead and uh, if you, we want to simulate it with this sphere, we can go through here and say, okay, recalculate a collision volume. Uh, this one's selected so we can run a simulation on it. Of course, we need to tell it what to do. So let's turn on gravity. And we can actually probably turn max simulation points down. We turned that up for a previous video. And if you want, you can crank that gravity strength up. Uh, it does have self-collision on, so these things are aware of itself. So it's going to be a little bit slow to run because uh, they're all going to be colliding with itself. But you can see very quickly, you can use, oh boy, that's kind of a little bit creepy to look at. Uh, yeah, so you can simulate these fibers all over the place. And it's just geometry too. And it, these ones are in fact are closed geometry, I think. So another cool thing we can do with this is if we go in here under masking, you have masked by fibers and by default this mask profile is going to mask the roots and uh, let you uh, modify or stretch or brush uh, on the rest of the geometries here. So we go fiber mask, it will go ahead and mask my roots along this gradient. So now when I run the simulation the roots are going to st stay in place and then the rest of the geometry is going to again fall and collide with itself and collide with the collision volume and kind of drape over. It's actually kind of uh, creepy and uh, kind of cool and disturbing to watch. Another thing to consider is, let's go ahead and crank up that gravity strength a little bit. We can also go here in here and inflate. So as it's dropping through, it'll go ahead and inflate. You can see these things are getting uh, more inflated as they drop and you can crank that inflate amount up. So again, it's just pushing on those surface normals uh, and it's going to give you a different read. You can go in here and expand as well. So now it's maintaining uh, those volumes and it's uh, increasing the surface normal. So they're getting wider and fatter as they kind of spill over the top here. And again, because we're increasing the surface volume, they're growing uh, as they uh, increase. So if I turn on sketch shader, you can see it a little bit better. We're expanding, which again is looking at those relationships and going, hey, I'm going to increase the surface uh, area uh, pushing away from you. And I also have inflate turned on, which is pushing along those normals to inflate as it goes. So now it's spilling over, it's colliding with itself, with self collision turned on, it's colliding with the collision volume, and it's running these settings as it's uh, inflating. Of course, you can also go through here and do like brush cloth twister if you want, or brush cloth hook. You can go through here and you can kind of pull these around. And you're going to see it kind of it snaps everything back. It's like, well, wait, what is it doing? Uh, let's go down here, and I think under Morph Target, there's a Morph Target stored. So now if we delete that Morph Target, uh, it still wants to kind of re go revert back to its original state. Let's go in here to Brush Cloth Wind. Kind of blow these things around a little bit. You can hold down Alt, and you can kind of blow them around. I'm not sure what Twister was doing. Uh, it was certainly not staying... Uh, on a brush, but wind, you know, you can go through here and you can kind of blow this around just by holding down Alt or you can let go of Alt and again just kind of run a little blow dryer through here. Brush cloth hook if you want to go through here and just you know, pull these things around. And again, while you're doing this, you can also turn on uh, inflate and expand. So while you're running a simulation, you can go through here and it'll start inflating and expanding as you're modifying it. Uh, same thing with 
transpose cloth, if you have that selected again, BTC, and if you just sit here and wiggle it, it'll start inflating and expanding. If you go through here and start pulling these up and around, it'll start inflating and expanding as you're doing that. If you don't want that, just turn these off and just use your transpose cloth to go through here and do what you need to do. Alternatively, you can go back up here to unmasked, and now uh, the unmasked portions will go through and start simulating in the or the unmasked portions will be left alone and the masked portions uh, will start simulating. So just little basic things to remember. That was kind of cool. As we're uh, going through all the different functionality, you can start stacking that. So it's a little stuff we've talked about before, uh, but it's kind of cool to see it in different uh, ways that you can uh, interact with your mesh. And now that we've uh, done unmasked, now the unmasked areas are going nuts. So if we want to, we can also turn off the mask. We can just control drag in our canvas, get rid of the masking, and now the simulation uh, can go on everything. However, remember to turn on mast off because when you have this on, it's looking for something mast to simulate on. So turn that off and then run the simulation and then uh, you're good to go. A few more things I thought about as I was uh, talking about fiber mesh. Let's go back in here to preview. Let's go into modifiers. Let's uh, crank our max fibers down. Let's crank our length profile up. Let's go into our coverage width profile and uh, go ahead and hit reset if you want or you can just take these corners and just pull them all the way up to the top so we can max out our coverage and then underneath coverage we can max that out as well and again let's take this max fibers down I want to see the fibers a little bit better so I'm going to go to B colorize and turn that down to zero and T colorize that's base and tip colorize and we can turn that down we don't need any twist and uh, again we can kind of mess with this gravity with our camera to this side so it'll kind of follow this down so a couple of cool things you can do with fiber mesh is you can put uh, a texture in here with transparency and you can see it's going to go root to tip that entire texture is stretched across that uh, root to tip so if you wanted to put like a hair texture in here you can actually turn on transparency as well and anything that's uh, approaching black will become transparent and then you can also turn on anti-alias if you want as I'm moving this around it's the gravity is doing some crazy things it's there we go. So, you know, also consider you can put textures through here, and then we go to BPR render this. Um, it's actually going <laughs> to make this uh, wider and blocky. So we're going to BPR settings. Let's turn subdiv, you know, subdiv to four is fine. I don't mind getting a nicer result. If you also want to go through here and up your segments, that'll give you more segments uh, to kind of pass the, any sort of geometry with micro mesh or a texture through. And then uh, subdiv of four sides of two, so we can keep them nice plain. So now when we go to BPR render this, uh, it'll be transparent through this object. So you can see we have uh, transparency in this, and you're getting more of a hair-like uh, result. So if you want to, you can go in here and you can hit accept. And then again, this is just geometry, and we have another uh, visible subtool in here. So if we go back in here to our dynamics, and we say uh, collision volume, let's go ahead and recalculate that. And we can also go through here underneath our masking, and we can say mask by fibers, fiber mask, so all the roots will be uh, masked for me. And then we can go ahead and have gravity turned on. Let's turn the gravity strength down just a little bit. And we can say run simulation. Now, oh, we can also turn on self collision. So now these planes, uh, oh boy, it really doesn't want to collide. There's a lot of geometry in here that uh, can collide with itself. Uh, so you may have to play around with that a little bit. But yeah, it really really wants to get away from each other here. Let's see if we can turn inflate down and see if we can get a little bit closer to that uh, sphere here. But here you can see it's simulating. And let's go ahead and put on expand. That'll give us a little, as, it, as it's growing out and going around, it's gonna wanna increase that surface area. But you can see, uh, you can use this as well to like simulate your fiber mesh here. And then we'll go in here to BPR and render it. And we have a texture going through here, uh, giving us transparency. So you can use this as another way to do fur, uh, it'll be dynamic, it'll hang if we turn off uh, self-collision, you're going to see uh, it'll probably start falling and colliding with the, the floor and stuff like that. So you can get some very cool results using that as well.